Lord have mercy. 99 overall chase pack Paul Skeens. We are back with some MLB The Show 24. And Sony San Diego Studios is dropping a nuke on us. Uh, Paul Skeens in the chase pack. Best pitching prospect in baseball. This is going to be the best pitcher in the game right off the bat. A lot to dive into today. Team Affinity Chapter 3 just dropped. There's a free uh, spring training breakout. Paul Skeens in the shop. You get a free hitter or pitcher choice pack. And then we have a new home stretch pack, which has got Trevor Story, Kodai Senga, Samuel Vassile. And then you got Max Clark, uh, Aaron Loop, Sean Murphy, Garrett Mitchell. So some decent cards there, but we're going to jump into the video. If you guys enjoy, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, there's also the Rich Gotch's uh, closing pitcher headliners. Looks really, really nasty as well. And um, some new season rewards. You got Tariq Skubal, Ryan Helsley, Brian Ramos, uh, Winsiel Perez, probably botched that name, and Christian Walker. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to dive into all the brand new content here in MLB The Show. If you guys like the video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. I'll be uh, doing some more MLB The Show content. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So the big thing this content drop is revolving around is the um, Team Affinity. One thing they really did, if we're going to start at the end here actually, 180,000 XP you're getting a choice uh, vault pack rather. And in this vault pack, there is a 0% chance you get gold players. It's a huge change, huge W. So in total, you're gonna get six vault packs and you're gonna get guaranteed six diamond players that are sellable. So if you own any of these cards, like Nico Goodrum, his price is gonna go down a lot. Elliot Cruz, his uh, price is gonna go down a lot. Um, a lot of these guys are gonna get really, really cheap. You know, I think that's going to be, you know, really exciting. I've been wanting to use the Nico Goodrum. I'm a no money spent player, so I haven't been able to get the opportunity to use him. Uh, we also have um, the NL Central Choice Pack here. We have Kerry Wood, Eric Davis, Robin Yao, Willie Stodger, Ryan Lubbock. In the AL Central, I have Lucas Giolito, Cliff Lee, Alan Trammell, Whit Merrifield, and Harmon Killebrew. In the AL East, we have Brian Roberts, Wade Boggs, DJ LeMahieu, Brad Miller, Tom Henke. NL East. We have Tom Glavin, Sandy Alcantara, Gary Carter, Mike Schmidt, Andre Dawson. And then going out west here for the AL West, we have Jeff Bagwell, Jim Edmonds, Blake Trinan, Edgar Martinez, and Ian Kinsler. And then for the NL West, uh, we have Eduardo Escobar, CJ Krohn, Gary Sheffield, Hunter Renfro, Brian Wilson. Not a lot of guys I'm really excited for. Kind of a disappointing team affinity drop. They're all 99 overalls, which is great. But I mean, we have Eduardo Escobar for the NL um, West, which I'm really excited about. The AL West, you know, there's Blake Trinan, which I'm pretty excited for. But honestly, there's not that many cards that I'm like, okay, I really have to get this card and I really need to use him. Um, but anyway, it's going to be good to grind. There's going to be some good players in there. But anyways, that's not the greatest. Um, a really big drop here for season rewards drop number seven. We get a free 99 overall jerks in Profar. Um, huge for that Carlos Santana um, switch hitting team. Um, he looks pretty good, could play every position, really great contact, 125 clutch, really good fielder, really good arm, a little bit slower than you'd like, and not as much pop as you'd like, but this is going to be a really, really meta card, I feel like. I'm going to be good, you know, bottom half of the bat, could play anywhere, like a really good second baseman, you know, second baseman's always a weaker position. This could be somewhere, or a player that could be your second baseman for the next few weeks. Um, then we're going to kind of dive into the online modes here. We have ranked seasons, battle royale, and events. Events, we have the like worst 99 overall player I've ever seen. Uh, we have lefty launch pad event. Uh, Right-handed pitching and batters that hit left-handed, whether they are left-handed or switch hitting. Um, so if you have that Carlos Santana boost, now is the time to use it. Events, rewind packs, you know, those are always good. Um, Matt Olson, like I said, look at him. Don't really care about this card at all. The vision's low. The clutch isn't great. He's got good fielding, but he's slow. Not really worth it at all. One of the worst 99 overalls I've ever seen. And then Tyler Rogers, which actually I'm more excited about this guy than Matt Olson. You know, sinker slider fastball. It looks ugly, but that delivery is just really hard to hit. We're going to look at the Battle Royale program. And this is actually going to be my uh, first look here at the new um, BR cards. So as you can see from the, um, the Flawless Pack, we have a 99 overall Honus Wagner. 99 speed, 99 steel, 99 bunt, 
Really, really good card. Going to be, you know, one of the better shortstops in the game with Jimmy Rollins. You have 99 Johnny Cueto, who I think they said in the stream he has outlier. Okay, guess not. They lied. Um, whatever. I don't... When they said in the live stream they had outlier, it didn't really make sense, but now we know. Um, then we have 95 overall program cards. We have Ronnie Mauricio, uh, second base, another switch hitter. That looks really good. Tommy Edmond, another switch hitter. This Brian Reynolds from 2022 was one of my favorite cards. I'm glad to see that being brought back. Another switch hitter. And then Troy Gloss from the Angels, uh, third baseman. Overall, nothing too excited here. I'm really excited for that Brian Reynolds just because I used to rake with him. Uh, overall, not really excited for the 95s. I want to see a Cubs player in here. Uh, Julio Tejeron. We got Austin Hayes. He's got a cannon out in left field. Looks like a pretty nice card there. Duke Snyder, always a decent card. Can't hit lefties. And then we have Rod Carew, first base, which I don't think anybody really cares for Rod Carew cards, sad to say. Uh, 87 overall, we have Brad Hand, who could be a really decent left-handed reliever out of the bullpen. We have Charlie Morton, who his card was awesome back when it came out a few years ago. Uh, we have a Eric Lauer, not a bad card there. And then we have Ty uh, Tyler McGill. Um, whatever happened to him, I know he had some injuries, but like... He was good for a hot minute there, and then he kind of just disappeared. Oh, well, kind of a sad there. This is the Battle Royale program. You know, exclusive missions, same as always. BR missions, looks like the exact same as always as well. I'm going to try and make this as optimistic as possible. And as a Cubs fan, I'm really excited for the ranked program here. Um, we're going to scroll through here. 99 Prince Fielder in the program will be really easy to get. He looks amazing. That speed is really unfortunate with that bat is what, I mean, he's a first baseman. You don't care about the feeling of the speed. You care about the bat, and he's got it. 105 clutch, 125 power against righties. And for the World Series award, we have new legend Jake Arrieta, one of my favorite pitches of all time. Uh, that run he went on in 2015, you know, I believe some of 2016 as well, was just absolutely incredible. One of the best, you know, pitchers of all time for the Cubs just because of that, how dominant of a stretch he had there. Sinker slider, fastball, slurve. Circle change, and we have Jorge Posada. Man, I'm a Cubs fan, so I'm going to take Arietta. I'm going to have a really hard time passing on this uh, Posada. Best catcher in the game. Probably is going to be for a really long time. Really solid defense, and then that bat is just amazing. And he's a switch hitter, so he gets a switch hitter boost. Uh, those are all the online rewards. They did do some interesting stuff with the team affinity here. Um, you got to get your boss stats, as always. The NL Central moment, still the same. Multiplayer missions, same for the most part. But they did single player missions, so 15 hits in many seasons, two saves in many seasons, conquest. And this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. 30 hits for CPU, 30 strikeouts in play for CPU. Nobody on this planet, if you live on planet Earth, you are not playing play for CPU games. There's not a single reason to play C CPU games at Diamond Dynasty. Stupidest addition I've ever seen. You have player exchanges, you have the um, extreme moment, which this one's on a hall of fame all you have to do is hit a home run so these extreme moments are really easy doesn't make a lot of sense um, extreme showdown whatever they weren't very hard the first time around this is a very disappointing team of any drop so we yes we got 99 overall cards we also get you know one of these packs but they're like the first tier 99 overall cards so really they feel like 97 nine overall cards like you know they're not the true 99 overalls we're going to get in a few weeks so it's a little weird how hyped up these were to be those 99 overall cards, which I'm glad they're lower 99 overall cards because I like that we're easing into it a little bit more. But still, like, they're just ugly cards. And they're, like, there's no players that any human being's excited for. And I don't know. This game is very pay to win. Um, I don't want to, you know, complain. But the fact that this Paul Skeens, you have to pay, <laughs> you just go for 300K right now. You know, you have to pay for that, you know. You have to pay for this Tariq Scoo ball. You have to pay for this Ryan Hell. So you have to, you know, if you want these guys, they're going to be cheap because people are pulling them every single time. You want this Kodai Senga, you're going to have to pay for him. You know, this game is going down a really bad path. Um, I really hope that changes around. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I think that pretty much covers all the content. Uh, Team Affinity, other programs. Uh, yeah, that should cover everything. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, uh, more than likely either later this week or early, or I should say early this week. It's Friday. Early next week, I'm hoping I can make 
a roster update video talking about who you should invest in going for this 517 roster upgrades and downgrades. I already have a few players in mind for that, so keep an eye on the lookout for that. And we get a free diamond player pack, a new other program, and a ranked program update, which before I go, um, yeah, there's absolutely not a single thing I'm looking forward to in the next two weeks here, which is very disappointing. Uh, one thing MLB The Show needs to fix is staggering all their content uh, because it's, I wouldn't say it's overwhelming, but it's like, I don't really know what to do first. Like events, Battle Royale, ranked, programs, all this stuff is coming out in the same day where it's like, and then we're not going to get anything for three or four more weeks. Like, why don't you have events come out one week, one Friday, BR come out the one Friday, ranked seasons come out the one Friday. And that way there's actual population in each mode specifically. Content's a little more fun and we're not, you know, sitting there getting everything at once. People are going to finish in a week and then not know what to play. Anyways, that's enough complaining for now. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.